my son is just down here taking some pictures. So if you hear clicking, it's nothing wrong with the studio. Tom is taking some pictures for our fabulous Christmas message. So my name is Tony Derrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft and this is a lovely studio to visit and get some inspiration. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that will let you know when we are live or when something new is coming to Stamps by Me or if I've got something important to tell you about. So today's studio, unfortunately, well, is it unfortunately listening to me, but it's going to be a short one and I'm going to apologise in advance just simply because as soon as I've finished here, I am being quite creative this afternoon with our creative team for something for you lovely ladies and gentlemen at home. So what do we need to tell you about? I've got a couple of lovely things to talk about, but before I talk about anything, did you see us over live on Create and Craft with the Happy Times paper collection and stamps and dies? Well, we have a lovely video to show you with some fabulous inspiration from our lovely design team who make the most amazing makes time in and time out. Have a look at this lovely video, it's gorgeous. Did you like that one? Really, really lovely hay and gorgeous papers for you to make lovely projects for friends and family. So if you did purchase them, well done. They are still available if you are interested over on Create and Craft and here on our very own website. So welcome Jackie, Marilyn, Anne, Karen, Sarah, David, Anne, Enid. Wow, are we all ready for Santa? We're certainly ready. We're certainly ready. Thank goodness we're ready. Uh, hi Amanda, so hi Sian, Rosie, lots of you on Valerie, lovely to see you all. Thank you for joining me for the last um, show today. It sounds crazy to say that, but you know, we do have to have a little break, all of us, and we all need time to spend a bit of time with our families, which is incredible. So in today's studio, I am going to tell you a bit about what we're going to do in studio and something that's going to make you, or hopefully help you be creative over the Christmas holidays. And we're also going to show you some of the lovely makes. I'm just sorting my iPad out here from our lovely craft challenge. So if you are new to our craft challenge, basically we send out two challenges from makes from our design team. And if you wanna recreate them, use your own colors, put a twist on them, do whatever you please, then you can do that. Um, they are over on our Eureka fan page, so you can go and have a look. And all you need to do is post a picture and any pictures or cards that inspire me, I'm gonna show you live on air. And I'm sorry I haven't done it as often as I'd have liked. Um, it's been a bit manic, hasn't it? But I'm gonna show you two today that I've absolutely loved. So we have a few people who've popped their makes in there. So I've just taken a, a screenshot. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is this one here. It's dark, I apologize. It's not my iPad though, it's the ladies picture, but I still wanted to show it because it's a beautiful make. So we've got a lady that's made this. So if you know of a lady that, let me just, there we go. If, we, if you know of a lady, I'll just, in there can we see this lovely card here 
so this one has been made by a lovely lady called Linda Walker well done Linda I absolutely love this card now you'll put this onto the lovely um, you know makes to show everybody what you've done and the reason why I like this one is the background is so so creative I don't know how you've done the lines whether you've painted them freehand with a paintbrush or is it a stencil I'm not quite sure but well done Linda this card is gorgeous and again the lovely sentiment count your life by smiles not tears count your age by friends not years lovely lovely card if anybody knows linda let her know if um spoke about her today and about her beautiful card so the second one i want to show you is let me just zoom out of this one i've got that many cards on my ipad honestly the next one i think kathleen's had a mention before so well done kathleen mitchell lovely lovely card again on our lovely um challenge now it's not a competition it is not a competition we encourage everybody to get involved you can make anything you like pop your make on there and if it's something that's creative inspiring it's not about the best card so please have the courage to post your makes so this one's been made by kathleen the lovely kathleen mitchell she is an avid follower of ours i hope kathleen is on actually um, if not she can catch this show anytime but I just love this one this is a lovely um, quintessential paper collection and stamps and things from the lovely lovely uh, Aymala collection North East South West I just love the colour the paper pad was actually blue but she's been quite creative and made it green that's why I really really like it so well done Kathleen another beautiful card so have the courage to post your makes on our page we do love to see them and what you might think is not the best card in the world will be a fabulous card to somebody else so please post your makes so um, I hope the ladies are on if not and you do know them or you do speak to them let them know so that's that over the Christmas period we have still had challenges and we've got a few other bits and pieces to tell you about so you're not at home on your own should you be we don't want you to be at home when everybody else may be potentially with family so we've put a, a few things out there to keep you busy so one of which is today's studio so I'm gonna we're gonna paint today and I'll just show you what we're gonna do so you see these two lovely lovely images here so if you go to FBL or to our free downloads, these two fabulous images are free to download. Okay, all you need to do is download them and either trace them up against a window or on a light box or something like that. And there's two, and we've put two on there because we want you to take your time. And then we want you to post your makes on our Eureka fan page. So I just traced them very quickly before coming to wear. I've got two myself, can you see there? Just two pencil sketches. And I popped them onto my light box, which I use for my um, classes and things. But you can do it up against a window. So you just need a piece of cardstock and a pencil and then you're good to go. So we're going to paint one of these live on air today, but it is free. Just go to FBL, you can see them on there, uh, or free downloads, which is down the left-hand side of our website, and they are there. Just download them to your computer, click and print, and then you can just trace them if you want to. Now, if you don't have watercolour card, card will suffice. Normal white cardstock will suffice. All I would say is don't oversaturate because your cardstock will pill. But please don't be off put by the fact of thinking, you know, I haven't got watercolour card. It will still work, and it's encouragement just to pick up that brush and just have a play okay is that okay so i'm going to look i'm going to do one um, very quickly on air and i am going to do the other one at home and i will post my makes on the eureka fan page and then you'll have to let me know what you think if you have never painted before please give it a go i want to see what you're all capable of you never know if you pick up that brush you might be actually quite good at it so let's do one of these lovely images so i'm going to go with this one today so what I've done is I've traced it, but I'm not the best tracer. I'm quite a speed tracer. So some of the lines might be missing on here. So what I do personally is I put the actual image at the side. So if I'm thinking, oh, I've missed a line there on my trace, I can see from the actual original sketch um, that where I need to put the paint. So you can see large open spaces on there. Really, really good um, to get in with your colours. Now, have you got watercolours? Have you not? Have you got acrylics? You can water them down. Have you got gouache? That will water down. If you're a pen pencil colourist, which is fine, you can still do that with this image. I just want to see what you're doing and be creative. It'll just keep you busy over these next few days or maybe a week or so. You know, when you sat at that Christmas pudding, right, you've got a time to relax one of those days. So we're just going to do that today. 
if you can see from studio, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, that's my card. So if you did send us a Christmas card, I have tried to pop it in studio to show you, show everybody what you're all capable of, because you're all amazing. So some of the cards are not just from our design team, they're actually from lovely customers, which is cool, isn't it? Because there's some beauties, let me tell you. So let's be creative with this lovely image. Now, <clears throat> if you are a beginner, brilliant because I do try and strip it right back for you and show you how easy you can get results with little to no effort however if you are more advanced and you don't sketch in pencil and you're sketching a lighter color pencil so you can't see the outline and things like that go for it please just show us your makes let us know what you thought you know uh, and any encouragement for any other crafter because that is really what the Eureka fan page is all about so just dig out those pens pencils paintbrushes pens brush and just enjoy it. Clip it to a piece of board on top of your Eureka, hold it in place with the Eureka and have a go. I can't wait to see what you're all going to do. So I'm just going to very quickly do this one. Now it's a six by six image. The reason why I've chose that is because it's quite easy then to pop on a card blank, a square one. So that's the reason why I've done six by six. But if you all enjoy doing these sorts of things, I can always, always do more throughout 2021. The only thing is, and please take note of this, you cannot sell your makes with these images, okay? It doesn't permit you to do that. You are allowed to download them, sketch them and make them and give them away, but you cannot sell them. Just, it is just for a little bit of fun, but I just wanted to tick that box so you're all absolutely aware that it is just for you and your learning um, to give to friends and family. You can't sell them because it's a download. Is that okay? I hope that's okay. We don't want to get anybody into trouble. Uh, by breaking the rules so what I'm going to do first of all I'll just bring this into shot for you is I'm just just got some clean clear water here we go have we all got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee is everybody set is everybody set oh it looks like everybody's on the ball <laughs> So let's have some fun. I'm not going to spend ages on it. I have actually traced a couple of these. So if I do get a little bit of downtime at home, you know, when we've, we've been watching that particular movie about nine million times, I'll get this out on my lap. You know what it's like. But I am grateful of the rest, as you guys will be. We don't sell anything. Well, yeah, OK, that's fine. I just don't want anybody getting into trouble me included uh, right so let's do this lovely lovely design so it's a sort of a tulip bouquet really but we're classing it as Christmas I'm going to go with Christmas so I'm going to go some really vibrant colors with this I'm going to go oranges and reds you know Christmas we'll get some splats on there we might if I've got time no I can't I've packed everything away ready for 2021 I was going to start say I'll stamp a sentiment in there but we'll um, just enjoy already okay Roseanne's ready, brilliant. So I just have my little palette here and I'm just going to go some lovely, lovely red. So I'm just going to mix some on here. And what I always do personally is I always paint it in one petal and then I move away until that petal is dry, okay? So I'm just popping that lovely colour in there. So I would never start to paint this petal next to it because it'll bleed into one another. So what I'll do is I'll paint this one, then move to a different area, then come back when that one's dry and then they, they don't connect and bleed. Okay, just got Hubby's hub Christmas card to do. Oh, somebody's on, on the ball. And we're going to take a little bit of orange too and I'm just going to drop a little bit of orange into here as well just to give it a little bit of texture. So not all over, but you know bit of orange in there too and I'm just pouncing it with my brush I'm not sort of doing it really really hard I'm just letting the watercolour do as it pleases really because you can't control watercolour unfortunately um, so back to the red so let's do one petal that's not connected so I'm going to go with this one here and let's move to a different flower now so I'm just looking at my image down here Actually, that's upside down compared. There we go. Is it? No. Come on, come on. Get your act together. There we go. So I can see what's going on now. <laughs> it wasn't that hard, was it? So I'm going to move on to this one down here now. So I'm just going to go the same red. Okay. 
and then another one don't be scared to mix up your colors and if you go over the lines or make a boo-boo it isn't the end of the world it's watercolor it's very very forgiving so let's keep going so stay away from connected ones so let's on our next um, let's have a look here we've got this large flower here can we see this one here it's quite a chunky one is this one so let's start on this one so what we'll do with this one is we'll go orange first so it just gives a, a little bit of point of difference on there and then just pop this orange straight onto here and then this one here so it, it never comes together well right at the last minute so I'm just going to drop some orange into this one so I've got a bit of tone in there So you have to be careful that you just don't do the connecting petals and then all of a sudden it will actually come together. So let's do this one up here and I'm going to go a pale pink on this one. I'm just going to take some of this pink. Another one that's not connected. So if you are tracing one, trace a few. And then you've got something to go at, haven't you then? So I'll put a bit of pink in this one too, while it's on my brush. And this one. So we're not doing anything fancy here, we're just laying the colour down. There are lots of techniques with watercolours, but this is pretty much the base, as basic as it gets. You just lay that colour down. And if you want to, you can drop that second colour in there if you want to. So, let's have a look what's going on here. So, I just have to wait till that sort of dries-ish. So, shall we see if we can get away with a little bit of the green? Have I got any questions? So, if anybody's got any questions, today's probably the time, or now is probably the time to ask me. Whilst I'm here, cup of coffee time. Amanda, well done for getting on that design team. Incredibly. It's incredible, sorry, incredibly. Should be incredibly proud. So here I'm just going on to some of those green areas. Dropping that green in there. It looks like a starfish. Oh, Roseanne, what are you bringing during 2021? Right, let me have a think about that one. I have to think long and hard. Um, Sandra's saying, please, can you paint a white flower, sometimes using greys to show the shading? You can use paint white flowers using greys, purples and blues. They look really effective and that makes you look like you've got a white flower. And of course, yes, I can do that. It's a little bit more advanced though. Um, but of course, I can do it and show a picture. Uh, and then if people want to do it, they can of course do it. So I'm just going to come back to this one now because it's dry. So I'm just popping that pink in there. And you see now because it's dry, it's not bleeding into the orange. Well, it shouldn't if it's dry. It is still a little bit wet, that orange has gone across. But that's just a prime example. Can you see the orange has bled into the pink? Can we see that there? Oh, wait till it's dry. That's me being a giddy kipper. But that's just showing you why I'm telling you not to um, do wet too wet together. So all I'm doing here is I'm just taking some of that lovely pink. I'm just making it a little bit darker. at the base and what I'll do is when it's dry I will post a picture of it mounted on a card when we've finished 
So let's think about where else we're going to go here. So hopefully that orange will be dry in here, she says. Phew, we got away with that one. And then this one here. So I'm using a size 4 brush here. And it's the size that I generally use is a size 4. So we have our orange one here. So let's just twist this around, get some orange on this one. Now it's dry. So I'm just trying to stay from any that might be wet and connected. So you can see the buds are starting to come together. So if you get this sort of effect here, a lot of people like that. Uh, Claire from Thirsty Brush loves this sort of texture when she's doing her watercolours. If you don't like it, all you need to do is just take your brush, just push it out, smooth it out a little bit. I do like texture, but I appreciate some of you don't. So you can just smooth it out and then you can leave a little patch if you want to make it look like the light is on that petal. It's not the end of the world, okay? It can be sorted out. So let's pick up some more of this red. I'll just drop a little bit of red into here while it's wet. So you can see how your petals are going to have texture. All I'm doing is pouncing that colour in there and just letting the red bleed into that yellow. Or orange, should we say. So we have... This is green. Let's do this one green. So it's not until the very end where your artwork really comes together. So let's just have a look, see if there's any questions. Um, so somebody asked, I think it was Roseanne, what's coming in 2021? So what's coming in 2021? Obviously more stamps and dice, because that's what we love. But we have maybe a new club, maybe a subscription, maybe, and maybe a new concept which I can't tell you about because somebody might do it before me um, what well, we've got loads I can't tell you anymore it's pants in it I'm sorry oh any other questions Now you're all now you're all thinking, aren't you? Oh gosh! So I'm just dropping some darker green into the, these um, areas here. Look, just adding a bit of dimension so it's not so flat. So that petal looks like it's twisted over there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a dark point there. Can we see that there? So it looks like it's twisted. There we go. And this one looks like it's twisted a little bit. So I'm going to add that dark spot there. Hmm, what's going on here? So. Another green one here, just twist this round. Yep, Enid, the um, Imala Peony, which is on special today at £5, should be available. We have lots. Go check that one out if you didn't see the newsletter. So, 17 99 stamp at £5. So that's a whole piece of green. Well, we've got some green up here, so I'm just going to fill these in. So sort of lay that first layer of colour down and then go back and add some shading. If you haven't got the confidence to go back and add the shading whilst it's wet, that's absolutely fine. You can go back and add it whilst it's dry. Just be mindful, though, that some watercolour paints are reactive with water, so you will just reactivate them. So just bear that in mind. So I'm just going to pop this petal in here now. I have to be very careful because that one green one was a little bit wet. So slowly coming together. It still looks really flat, but I'm okay with it because it's my little masterpiece and I do like to play. So I'll try lay that initial colour back down first and then we can revisit it. So let's go and complete these pinky ones here. <gasps> I 
a magazine. I did. That's very that's very true. The the thing is, these things take time, and given what we all just had to go through, my gosh, it's put a hold on quite a few things. I am okay with it though, you know. Let's um, let's walk before we run. I'm in no rush to create for the sake. I'm absolutely in it for the long haul, so it's not the end of the world if these things take time. So with this one here, I think maybe we're just going to go red. So let's mix some red. And I'm just using my Himmy colours here, but you can use whatever you've got in your stash. You don't have to go out and buy expensive paints. So I'm just going to go with the ones that are not connected. I'm just going to lay that red down first. I will look up in a second if you are asking a question. <laughs> yeah, it's a group of them, Anne, so it is really going to make you step outside of your comfort zone. It really is. And you will enjoy it. I'm certain of it. So I'm just trying not to get any connected petals on there. So I'm going to have to step away from that for the time being. Let's go back to this one. Fill in this lovely space here. So you can see how when you don't do the two connecting petals, you get that definition. And not forgetting the box. You are so naughty, you guys. I'm just going to add a little bit of red into b to the base of there to keep them in theme with each other. And I'll just let it do its thing. So let's go back to our pinks. So uh, how long so far has this taken me? Let's just have a look. Right, it's taken me, say, 20 minutes so far. And I'm, I, am, I am given, I am speeding through this. However, just think about how gorgeous your artwork is going to be when you take your time at home. I'm just trying to show you very, very quickly how easy you can create a masterpiece. And guess what? You can say, hey, it's not a stamp, it's a sketch. Yeah, well, it's not your sketch, but you know, you don't have to tell anybody that, do we? beginning to look a lot like Christmas. If you can hear the camera pipping, uh, Tom's still doing all his photography work. Right, I'm just going back to this lovely centre part here now. So we were said we were going to go red, didn't we? So see if we can get some more of this lovely red in here. You have to keep guessing, I know. We have got some um, embossing folders too. Um, what else have we got? Caught, caught me on the spot now, haven't you? So I can't go anywhere near that centre part yet because it's still a little bit wet. So let's go back to adding some dimension to the green. Just mix a little bit darker. So I can see here I've missed a line. So there's a line down here. So I'm just going to paint that line in. Now you can just pick up your pencil and add the shade if you want to. Probably needs to be a little bit darker. It's coming together slowly. 
I could stand here all day and paint. I really could. Just enjoy my mind. I'd have to sit down because my back would start to hurt. But yeah. If I have the embossing folders, would you like to see? Love embossing folders. So I'm just adding a little bit of shadow to some of these lovely, lovely um, turn ups here. Oh painting on my picture there what's all that about yes you all want to see right okay I'm just adding a little bit darker to this area because it's sort of getting washed out and then I'm just going to go over this one here as well because it's sort of not in keeping with our card but this is a great thing you can absolutely play layer if you're not happy with it layer them up make them darker make them lighter all you need to do to make them lighter is rehydrate that area and take the excess off with your tissue so let's just finish this pink just remind me at the end and i will show you a sneak peek and i mean a very sneak peek because you will get me into trouble i have been playing with them and so has the design team or some of the design team have actually got them and been playing So lots of great stuff to um, come in in 2021, which is brilliant, isn't it? I'm just going to pop a bit of red in here just to soften it so it's not all pink. So let's just finish this centre part here, which is the red. Not that one might be a... So I'm just going to fill in that lovely area and there is some stamens in the centre of this flower so you'll have to go back in with your black and add that detail or a fine liner pen, it'll work with a fine liner pen. So I'm just going to take out the excess water out of my brush here because I need to just paint a thin line here in this green look. There we go, and here. There's a little leaf there, look, poking behind there. So I'm just adding, mixing these colours here on my palette. I've got a bit of pink, a bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of purpley colour in there. So I think we've had a thousand photographs, ladies and gents, while we've been here on air. So just lifting some of that colour back out because it was starting to bleed, because I'm starting to like get through it. So what I'm going to do now is, shall we add some splats just to sort of, first of all I want to add a wash very quickly, I know. So I'm just adding water around my image, some lovely water. Because this is sort of what grounds your illustration. Now hopefully my design isn't wet. So my colour doesn't bleed out of the actual image. I'm not going to go too close because it's probably what will happen. So I'm just adding some water in and around. Like so. I'm just going to move this out of the way for now. I'm just going to take some blue. I always do my um, colour around my image in blue for some reason but it's personal preference and then I'm just going to drop a hue of blue in and around pounce it just in with your brush push it into those wet areas see how it's just sort of like I don't know if you can see that on camera I might need to add a bit more blue I'll make it a bit more darker than I normally would so you can all see is that better? yeah I'll just pounce, pounce that blue in and around So clean, clear water, and then the blue. And 
and it won't look like our image is floating. I wouldn't go much darker than I am, but I'm going to go darker so you can see it a little bit better on camera. So it's a bit dark now, but anyway, I'm going to go with it just so you can see on camera. So just pouncing that blue in and around. We see here, so it's just sort of giving that design so it doesn't look like it's floating anymore. It actually looks like it's a part of a piece of artwork. So let's just go all the way around very quickly. Speed crafting. It's great, isn't it? So don't be afraid of this sort of texture because it really does. And if you don't like the line that's around your artwork, just get clean, clear water on your brush and go round. Don't go into your artwork, just go round and let it bleed naturally into that clean, clear water. Just drop a bit more blue in there. There we go. So I'm just going to dry this with my gun very quickly and then we'll add some signature splats and you can let me know. Yeah, lots of tears moving on Boxing Day. Yeah. So what else have I got to tell you about? Can't tell you. Ooh, it's killing me. I can't tell you. So that's dry enough. So all I'm going to do with the rest of the ink that is on my palette, I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to get that blue and that green and I'm literally going to add some signature splats and they dry back pretty much non-existent anyway. So really use that colour up on your, on your um, get some white on there, some metallic on there. Stamp a sentiment in the little corner here, cut it down. I will mount it onto a card and pop a sentiment on it for the photograph. So have a look after the show. Really go, oh, oh, now I'm swinging at it. And I'll trim it down. So there we go, I'm going to leave that there and you'll be able to see the surprise of the card when we've finished it. So question, question, do you know if the Alamo stamp tree grow? It's coming back for the fifth time, it's coming back. As soon as it's back in stock, I will let you all know. I'll just hold this up very quickly. Hopefully you'll be able to see that one there. So I haven't done anything fantastic, literally laid some colour down, spotted um, sort of a shadow with another colour in there and put a blue hue around. Please have the courage to pick up that brush over this Christmas period and give it a go. Okay, excuse me. I really want to see um, people enjoying themselves. I mean, let's get this mounted on a card with a sentiment and I'll show you that it might look pants when you've just done it like that, but as soon as you mount it on a card, you will be imp incredibly proud of what you've achieved, I'm telling you. So that's that. What did I say I would show you? When will you be back in studio? So, uh, good question, Lindsay. I haven't actually committed to any day, simply because I know TV are wanting me to do a day in between now and the new year. So whatever happens, I will either send a newsletter or pop it on social media to let you know when I'm back in studio. You may see me on TV on the 29th here in my own studio, May, but I'll keep you all posted on that one. So, um, oh yeah, okay. So let me just show you the embossing folders very, very quickly. Now, don't tell anybody. No, I'm all joking, tell, tell the world. I'll just grab them. I'll just grab some. Now, this is absolutely sneak peek. So, are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. Let's just take that one. So, I said it'd be a short studio, didn't I? Still the same time. So, I'll quickly show you. So, basically, we have 
I'll just hold them up. Is that better? No, I'll just show you here. So basically, we have some fabulous three. They're called. I'm not going to call them 3D because 3D should be an everyday um, embossing folder, shouldn't it? So basically, they are gorgeous, gorgeous embossing folders that you can paint, you can sand back, and you can put texture on cards. They are incredible. And some of them just have a single flower like so. So these are beautiful for your um, envelopes and things like that. This one is incredible. It doesn't look much on the embossing folder, but oh my gosh, it's in. Incredible. So there's five in total. Quick flick then. So we have a peony just over the left hand corner there. We have this lovely, lovely floral design, which is a creeper around the right. We have a peony cluster with the leaves on there. Then we have this open like daisy effect on there. And then we have this gorgeous like dahlia sort of effect. And I'll show you what it creates on the back of this card look very, very quickly. Oh, they're all stuck together. So this is this one. Can we see that effect? I'll just quickly feel it flick through and they're all stuck together now. That's my fault. Oh my gosh. See the design? This is the design. They are incredible. They are so 3D. It's unreal. And then we have that corner one. And then I'll just quickly show you. Can you see that there? See, they are gorgeous. And then this is the debossed side on a mirror board. Debossed. Bear in mind, debossed. Embossed. And this is it embossed on a card here. See, I, you can tell I wasn't going to show you because um, I don't have any samples. You'll have to wait till the new year. So there we go. Sneak peek alert, sneak peek alert. Very, very excited about those. In fact, I'm so excited we've just done another 20 super excited so whatever you're doing have a lovely christmas stay safe i will catch you all in a week or so maybe before five days and um watch out for facebook tomorrow i've got something very special to show you so have a lovely evening and i'll post a picture over on facebook now take care everyone see you later bye